Hi, Jeremy. Hi. I'm Dr. B. Today we're going to be demonstrating a diabetic foot exam. For the purposes of this assessment, you're going to be presenting some neuropathy in the bottom of your left foot. Okay. Okay, so that will help us demonstrate the exam to others and as well as we'll run through the entire exam that we would do for a diabetic patient. Okay. If you have any questions, please let me know. Okay. And are you currently in any pain right now? Anything I should be aware of during the assessment? No. All right. So before we begin, I want you to confirm your first name and date of birth for me. Jeremy 1-1. One, one. Okay. And that is what I have here on the chart, so I'm speaking to the right patient. And can you just confirm that you are a diabetic? Yes. Thank you. So I want you to do a little bit of walking for me. Do you feel steady on your feet? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I want you to rise up on your feet for me. Okay. And if you could just step around here and stand comfortably. Is that okay for you? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to be checking the feet and I'm just looking for symmetry, position, any listing to one side or the other, the ability to stay upright and everything looks fine. Jeremy, would you please uh, just walk for me in a straight line that way? Just walk forward. I'm going to watch the gait and turn around and come backwards. Okay. And I want you to do the same thing, but just walk one foot in front of the other like that. Just looking for balance and strengthen the feet. When you come back, could you do so walking on your toes? Any pain with that? No. Okay, and could you stand on your heels for me? Just sort of lean back on your heels and take a few steps backwards, forwards, whatever's comfortable. Okay, very good. So strength is there. I'll have you um, just sit here right where you were before. I'm gonna take some of your vitals. All right, so I just wanna take a look at you first. I'm looking for any obvious signs of distress on the body. We're gonna mostly focus the exam on the feet, but making sure there's no other health issues. And let me take a look. Open your mouth for me and say, ah. Uh. Okay, I'm looking at the tongue and the lips. I'm going to put on some gloves here. I'm just going to be feeling the inside of the mouth. Just open slightly for me. I'm just going to really gently feel. Could you stick your tongue out for me, please? And up and down. Okay. Just have you stick your tongue out again. I'm just going to grab it. I'm just going to feel it. Okay. I know that can be a little uncomfortable. But important to check. So that's all fine. Any changes in your diet or your sugar intakes recently? Not really, no. Okay. I'm just going to take a listen to the heart. Fine, feeling some pulses up here. And just that way I can compare them down to the feet. Okay. I'll take a quick temperature and then I'll have you lay down. Temperature is normal. 
So, Jeremy, go ahead and scoot back for me. I'm going to take a look at your feet now, all right? Okay. I've got some shoes here that you brought in today. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Just going to look at the wear inside of them. Bottom of the foot as well. Looking for anything that would indicate um, an irregular walking pattern, more wear on one part of the foot than the other. Same thing with this one. Paying particular attention to the left shoe since that's the foot the patient is complaining of some sensation loss. Next, taking a introductory look at the feet themselves. I will remove the socks in just a moment, but looking for any wear in the bottom of the sock. There's no obvious difference in the feet. Looking at how they lay, before I remove the sock, I'm just going to touch your feet and your legs here. And I want you to tell me if there's any pain. Um, no. Okay. Okay, well, let's start with the unaffected foot, which would be the right side, correct? Mm -hmm. So I'll remove this sock here. And we'll get a baseline for everything. Looking for any discoloration any lesions or injuries, open wounds on the feet. It can be a little harder to heal when you're experiencing um, complications from diabetes and you may not always feel pain or infection on the feet. So it's really important to check. Relax for me. Let's do some initial strength on this foot. So I want you to pull back on my hand as much as you can. Very good. And push forward. Okay. Um, I'm going to hold the ankle here. I just want you to push to this side of my hand. All right. And the other way. Okay. No problems there. I'm going to bend this knee for me. And I just want you to push out this leg towards me. Good. And pull that heel back. All right. Relax. And just this big toe, push that down. All right. Good strength there. I'm gonna feel for temperature now. I'm looking for a consistently warm temperature. A little cooler on the bottom of the foot, but that's normal. I'm gonna feel the pulses. So Jeremy, I'm going to start doing a little bit of sensory now. Um, so the neuropathy is presenting in the left foot. Have you felt any tingling or numbness in this foot? Um, not too much, no. Okay. Any pain in the nerves when I press here? Um, no. What about right here on that uh, plantar fascia? Um, maybe it's a little sore. Okay. 
and anything in the heel. Okay, just eliminating, eliminating any other causes for pain or discomfort in the foot. So it seems like there might be a little bit of tightening of that plantar fascia, but other than that, no bone spurs, no Morton's neuroma, anything like that. So I've got just a really soft little wisp. I'm gonna show you right on the top of the leg here. You feel that? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna work my way from uh, the top of the leg all the way down to the top of the foot, then the bottom of the foot. And I just want you to say yes when you feel it, uh, letting me know that the sensation is there. Okay, good. So the sensation was fully intact there. I went down the entire leg. And was there any change in sensation? Does this feel the same as that? Uh, yeah. And this and that? Mm-hmm. Say same? Yeah. Same? Mm-hmm. Basically. Yeah, okay. Um, obviously there are some parts of the foot that can be a little more callous than others, mm-hmm. but We'll investigate a little bit further. Uh, the other side of my tool here is just a little bit rougher. You feel that? Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm just gonna run it down the front of the leg here. I want you to tell me if there's any change. You feel that scraping there? Mm-hmm. Let me know if it feels differently at all as I bring it down the leg. Any change there? No. Okay, does it feel just as scratchy here? as it does here? Yes. Okay, and can you feel it across the top? Mm-hmm. Feel it on every toe? Mm. So, so far you're presenting normal findings in this foot, but for the purposes of the assessment, I'll go ahead and test a few more things. I'm going to hit this uh, vibratory tuning fork and it's gonna feel like a little buzz. I'll show you right on your knee. Do you feel that buzzing? Mm-hmm. Is it still buzzing there? Yeah. Yeah. No. Just pressure, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. How about there? Um, buzzing. Buzzing. Pressure. Okay. I've got a, a cold vial here. Does that feel cold? Mm-hmm and just say if it feels cold or warm. Cold, warm, cold. Good. Warm, cold. Good. And what about there? Cold. So what we would do if you were having any sort of sensation loss is We continue with sharper tools down the leg. Um, So again, tell me if you feel this. Mm -hmm. Does it feel uh, pointed or um, soft? Uh, Pointed. Yep, pointed here. Same same thing, same pressure, same feeling? Yes. Is that sensation the same Mm -hmm. here? Here? Yes. Here. And here. Yes. Okay. And the last tool we'll use um, is to just check for, again, that, that loss in any uh, sharp sensory. But of course, you on this foot are not presenting that. Um, so this should feel the same all the way down, okay? Tell me if it doesn't. Completely the same. Mm-hmm. And on the bottom of the foot here, is that completely the same? Yes. Okay. So we found that the um, foot here is completely normal. I'm going to just look very closely with a magnifier at the bottom of the foot for anything. There are just a few bits of dryness here, which is very normal for any feet, but I want to just examine them a little closer before I move on. And 
and I'm not seeing any signs of infection, inflammation, nothing concerning. So I will go ahead and put your sock back on so you can keep warm. Moving on to the other side, again just starting with it looking, I'm going to remove the sock. Going for that temperature again. And this foot is cooler than the other side. That could be an indication of some circulation problems. So we'll go ahead and take the pulses. It's a little bit weaker on the side, I would say one plus versus two plus. So that also is aligned with some of that neuropathy he might be feeling. I'm gonna do the strength test on this side. I want you to press down for me and pull back. Okay, holding the ankle, come this way, push this way. Yeah, there you go. And the side, okay. And bending the knee up like that, push me away, and pull me towards you, okay, relax the leg, just this big toe down, all right, and some uh, weakness on the side as well, I'd say four out of five for strength, I'm going to start with that really light sensory touch, and I just want you to tell me uh, yes when you feel it. Again, consistent with those symptoms that he was describing. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing with a little bit of a sharp point. I want you to tell me, um, when does it start to get more dull? Or when do you just feel, um, you feel that sharpness there? Mm -hmm. When does that start to change as I move down the leg? So normal all the way up on the front? Mm -hmm. What about this side? Same up yeah. there? Okay, when does it stop feeling around, there. around right here? Mm -hmm. So this feels different than this? Mm -hmm. Okay, and what about this versus this? Mm -hmm. So which one is sharper? This second. So, so this one here versus this one here, which one is sharper? The first. And that versus that? So we will need to do some more investigation in that. So I've got that vibration again, and I want you to tell me if it feels like vibration or just like pressure. So what 
does that feel like to you? Vibration. And what about that? Vibration. Pressure. Pressure, okay. Pressure. Good. Vibration. All right. Pressure. Pressure. Vibration. Good. All right. So again, um, able to feel the pressure on the bottom of the foot, but not able to differentiate that vibration there. Again, feel got a little bit of a cold vial here. You feel the, that coldness? Mm -hmm. Okay. Does it feel cold here? Yes. And here? Yes. And does it feel as cold here? No. So this feels colder than that. Yes. Okay. Which which is colder, one or two? One. Two. Okay. Tell me when that starts, that sensation of coolness starts to fade. There. Okay, so it's right at the bottom of the foot here. Any pain or tingling when I press this this hard? No. Just doesn't feel like as much as it does on this side. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I have that very sharp tool again. I just want you to confirm that it feels sharp all the way down the front of the leg. Yes. Okay. I'm going to do it on the bottom, and I just want you to tell me um, when it starts to feel less sharp. Okay. Now. This side. Now. Okay. And it feels the same sort of dullness all the way up. Yes. And this toes as well. Same sort of feeling. Mm -hmm. So we can note that the sensation in the bottom left foot from um, essentially the arch of the foot on that side um, and then the distal side of the foot are affected. And the start of the heel as well as that you can feel that back there. Yes. But feels a little less right here. Mm -hmm. So I'll just take a, that closer look here. There, are, There's less um, signs of this dryness on the side, but it's still a little bit. So I just want to check to see if there's any other problems there. But it looks pretty surface. There are no signs of open wounds or anything that needs immediate treatment. Um, but you do need to be more careful of that because the sensation is lower. You're not necessarily going to feel when a piece of that dry skin um, cracks through and starts to bleed. So you need to be checking your feet and coming in more often. So I'll go ahead and put the sock back on for you. Just do your reflexes and then you'll be all set. You're just going to feel me hit you a little bit here with the reflex hammer. Just relax completely. Okay. Same thing on the side. Just fully relax. Okay, reflexes are intact. Scraping the bottom here. Good. And definitely a little bit more relax a reaction on that Babinski on that uh, unaffected side. And so I'll just do the legs here as well. So Jeremy, I want to thank you for today's demonstration. You did a great job um, in displaying those symptoms. 
Um, do you have any other questions for me before we uh, finish the assessment? No, I don't think so. All right. Well, um, we certainly appreciate your time. We would recommend that you um, follow up with a podiatrist to be put on um, a plan of action to maintain the integrity of the feet. And we'd also be checking your sugar levels, making sure your diabetes is under control. Okay? Okay. Thank you.